everyone welcome back to the channel just wanted to do a nice little intro for everyone if you're watching this this is because i've probably talked to you before and you're probably wondering some of the things we're saying on this now if you're an avid ham radio operator then you won't need this little tutorial but if you're just passing by and think some of this is pretty cool sorry a little dead space there I'm going to take you through a little bit of tutorial. First of all, my name is Ben. I go by the amateur call sign K0BJJ. If you watch my videos, I will spell that out phonetically in the NATO alphabet. That's Kilo Zero, Bravo, Juliet, Juliet. Ham radio operators, we use the NATO phonetic alphabet. You can easily Google that and find out what that is. Another thing, some of the abbreviations we use on the air. So if you watch a video and you hear someone say QSL, a Q QSL is an abbreviation asking for clarification and or confirmation. So think about QSL is the same as going okay versus okay. So um, the actual definition, unless you want to become a ham operator, you don't need to know that, but that just think about that. So if you're watching a video and I call out a call sign and I say QSL, that's me going, hey, did I get this right? The response could be negative, positive, or they could answer QSL, you know, okay. So there we go. QSL, that's, that's the big tricky one. Um, QRZ or QRZ, um, that is next station, please. So at the end of a contact, you would hear QRZ, that's me used to call them for whoever wants to talk to me next. Um, the signal reporting system. It's actually a three number system. But for voice contacts, we only use two of those numbers. So for voice, we use a one through five understandability. Um, number one being they're so far in the mud that we can't hear them five meaning you're sitting right next to me if that makes any sense the second number we actually get off our radio and there's a little what's called an s meter on the radio that ranges from one to nine and then it starts going up um, dbu beyond that and that's how well their signal is hitting our antenna so what is considered a perfect signal would be a 5-9 signal report. Though, you'll hear on, a on occasion 5-9 plus 10, 5-9 plus 20. <clears throat> the way I want you to think about this, you have someone, I don't know, 50 yards away from you. They're yelling at you. You can understand everything they're saying. Perfectly clear, you get, there's no one, you know mistake and understandability now they come up three feet with three feet from you and they're yelling at you you again can hear them crystal clear it's just that signal is that much better received now if you back them off let's say another 200 yards you can hear them you can kind of make out what you say that's where your signal report would probably drop to a three or a four and depending on how you believe you're receiving that if this if that all makes sense so first number understandability one through five second number is signal as it's hitting the radio or hitting the antenna again five nine is considered perfect five five is considered is considered okay um but yeah that's that's the big th that's the big thing so for those of you that are watching the videos and stuff and you hear your five nine your four one your three one i give a lot of uh five ones and three ones um and i give a lot of five nines a three one i'm having trouble hearing them those are the contacts you're really seeing me lean into the radio and i'm being generous with a three one um I'll be honest, when I'm really leaning in, I don't know how well it's necessarily hitting the radio because I am having, I can't, I can't visualize, I cannot see my 
signal meter, my S meter at that point. So I'm going off of a gut instinct when I'm just based on what I'm hearing about how well the signal's hitting the antenna. So you have that. Another term you're going to hear around is QRV. That's not as common. QRV is um, starting at or activating at. So on a couple of videos you might hear, if I don't cut it, edit it out, I'll be QRV in approximately one hour from this location. So on this video I did on Sunday, I went to, uh, I was at US2324. I easily could have activated US2319 on my way home. I didn't, but I could have. But then when I signed off of from 2324, I could have said I will be QRV in approximately one hour at US2319. Watch for me. That's just giving everyone that's listening, hey, you didn't get me here, but I'm planning on doing something else. Keep an eye out. Um, QSY is another one. QSY is changing frequency. So on the short end, in the video, you see someone calling me that I'm out of band. I'm not out of band, but let's just say I got tired of hearing them and I decided to change frequency. I would say I am QSY to lower in the band or if I knew there was I had a place that was that would work for me I'm QSY to 14 325 now anyone knows that general licensing band 14 325 is at the actual bottom end of my privileges so that actually would not be a good place to uh, sit either and it was currently occupied I, I went to the nearest place that I could find where I had at least a two kilohertz gap so and I was two kilohertz from the top of the band so when he's this person saying I'm out of band I'm I'm activating well within the band especially because on uh, amateur radio field day which if you don't know what that is we'll cover that probably next year since it's already passed here on amateur radio field day you will have everyone on every frequency of that band it is absolutely miserable i do not run radio on field day um yeah i'm just gonna leave it at that um trying to think of something else um normally what you'll hear is i'll i'll say i'm qsy to a different band so I went actually before you didn't see the end of the activation I cut I cut it out at eight minutes I was active on 20 meters or for uh, an hour and obviously you didn't get an hour's worth of contacts there but at the end of that I went QSY to 17 meters letting everyone know that's listening hey I'm moving to 17 meters this was after that individual came back and again started shouting that I was out of band. And I'm going to make a little bit more of a blast on him on this. He's saying I'm out of band yet he is not properly identifying himself on the radio. He should have said you are out of band this is and then his call sign. Because per FCC law we are to identify ourselves at the end of a series of transmissions or every 10 minutes so by him just going you're out of band you're out of band and then not saying anything he's not abiding by FCC law so I was in band but he was violating identification rules so if he wants to come on this video and make an argument that I was out of band, I'm going to ask who he is because he was also in violation of an F he was also in violation of an FFC FCC law about identification. So, even though it's clearly documented that I was in band, and I would certainly hope that 50 people would not leave the general portion of the band to come get me because that means we have 50 people that also violate, violated the band privileges. So I've got one person saying I was out of band. I've got 50 contacts saying otherwise. Just throwing away at. 
these band police are kind of a little annoying if you can't tell to me but uh yeah if i missed anything please let me know oh dx if you ever hear us talking about dx in anything dx is an outside the country contact technically alaska and hawaii are dx's they're in they are in country per se but they are out of the continental u.s so my contact in north pole nebraska or north pole nebraska wow north pole alaska was technically a dx entity technically i don't consider it but if you put it on the map it is if you put it down to the rules it is so my buddy up there in north pole alaska buddy if you're watching this i love getting those contacts love to know i'm getting out and hearing you all the way up you're hearing me all the way up there so this was a little you know educational little bit of a rant video but i just kind of wanted to bring everyone up to speed um if you can see my shirt at all uh on wisconsin and we will see you on the next video